Hey everyone, this is Kevin Paul, psychic and medium here in Washington, D.C. And I just finished a little investigation of a very historic home in Washington, D.C. And I just wanted to share some of my impressions, what I uh, picked up while I was there. I think you might be able to ask some questions. Um, let's see if I can figure out how to even answer them. Let's see here. All right, cool. So let me tell you about this home. It's a beautiful, beautiful home. And um, multi-stories, it's, it's over 100 years old. And I know someone who actually works in the home um, since they have staff there. And I've been to it a couple of times. And this time, I actually it's been about a year and a half since I've been there. So I wanted to go in. He said, you know, he wanted me to just get some impressions of what's going on because I did pick up on a couple of uh, uh, spirits that were there. Actually, the first one was, I remember this this man that was just kind of hidden in one part of the attic that just didn't want to communicate. I couldn't like reach out and, and connect with his energy. So I just kind of left it there. And then the other one I picked up on who was a former employee of the house. And so I just went back today, this evening, it's dark outside, and um, doing a quick review recap to get a sense of, uh, so you guys get a sense of what I experienced as a uh, psychic and medium. It's, I'm using my mediumship abilities when I'm going in and reading the energy of the house and um, seeing if I can pick up any active energies that are, that are there. And... Um, let me just go and start the review here. I'm kind of still kind of like, <laughs> kind of uh, buzzing still from it. It's it's energizing. It's draining but energizing at the same time. Um, so the the man that I had connected with a couple of years ago, uh, I connected again with that energy, and I said, okay, I'm going to really you know tap into what's going on and, and see if I can get uh, any bit of information. Last time I couldn't get a damn thing. So I picked up on this this gentleman that it was a um, a guy of the working class. I got I, I write when I'm there, um, just to, and I have no idea what I'm writing. Sometimes I can't even see um, in the uh, without my glasses. So I have a working class guy, manual labor. He ran away when he was young. Uh, he made his own way. Is is what I got from him. Um, he felt that that was a safe space in this place. I mean, it was on the fourth floor, and it's kind of like in a like back back room, maybe with some equipment, HVAC equipment or something. Um, it just he just was very um, he felt very safe there, and I just got an impression. I said, "How can I help you?" Because that's the way I like to approach uh, when I'm dealing with uh, with spirit um, in these situations. How can I help you? Uh, after I get a sense of who they are. And I got that this, that he was lost. Um, that there was an accident nearby. Maybe it was at his job site. Um, and somehow he must have passed from, from that accident. Um, but he was lost. And he means no harm. That's what I definitely got from him. He means no harm. He said it's a quiet personality. So he's just kind of hanging out. And really I felt that there was this need for him to, uh, to move on and to be crossed over, as they say. Um, so I thought, well, someone who's lost, let's, let's get him on the right track. So I did cross him over. Um, and the way I do that, my typical way of doing it is I always say, I'm gonna give you a job to do. I want you to think about, search for, call to your friends and loved ones, and then be drawn to where they are go to where that those loved ones and those friends are so that's your job go search for them go find them and I got a sense you know of a handshake or just like a uh, thank you so I feel like I've moved that energy on um, shouldn't be just hanging out there on the fourth floor um, so I was really happy I just felt that you know there was this somebody who needed some help so I just kind of moved him on the other one is a middle-aged woman, is my impression from this woman, and I've picked up on her before. She used to work there um, over 100 years ago. She was like the, the house manager or the, who ran the house. 
And um, I picked up on her and she said she is of the house. Um, and she says her anxiety kept her kept her job. So I guess that means somebody who was a little anxious, somebody, you know, nervous about doing something wrong or, you know, not doing the right thing. That anxiety kept her on, on her toes and, and made sure everything um, went as it should. So uh, that's what she said. Her anxiety kept her job. Um, so I guess she was nervous enough and, and anxious enough that uh, she made sure things were, were done all the time. Um, she identifies with the staff that are at the house that were actually work in this big house. So she's identifying with the staff there. She says she's supervising the staff. Um, which she feels like she's supervising. I guess she's very, you know, she was running the big house when she was there. Um, and so she's really drawn to those people who are involved in running the house now. Um, she, wants, she wants to make sure that all the work is done smoothly. And she does have a big sense of duty, as do the employees there in that house or working in that, in that house. She says she has an obligation to that house. And I think maybe she's identifying with um, her work. I guess her work was truly, you know, her job and her work is really what she identified with. So I got a sense of duty and obligation to the house. The house was her identity. So sometimes people, their identity is their job. And so that's what I got from this woman. Um, and she is all over the house. I get a sense that she was moving all over the house. And she does kind of like messes with the cleaning staff. Um, I got the sense that she was messing with them, um, with the staff in general, um, maybe hiding things or making things. But really, instead of messing with, she's really trying to to get their attention, um, to let them know that, you know, she is, you know, she's present, um, she's connecting with them. So she's really trying to get their attention, I think, rather than anything else, not really messing with them. I guess maybe she's hiding things from me. <laughs> you know, she's got plenty of time there. So uh, just having a little bit of fun, but she definitely identifies with the, uh, the staff there. Um, so those are the two impressions, those are the two energies I got um, from that uh, investigation tonight um, moved one on and then just kept uh, just kind of got a, an update from the other one and then I talked with a friend of mine who works there and gave him the the, the download uh, on it and uh, he appreciated it and he says yeah there was some been interesting things that have happened with the staff things that have happened or things have been go missing or things that you know weird things going on so I said just know that that's her that it's completely okay. She just kind of like, just acknowledge that. Just say, got it, thank you, you know, um, and uh, and don't worry about it. So that's, that's my little quick update. Let me see if I've got any questions here. Let's see how we do this. I haven't done it on my phone in a long time here. Um, let's see, Darlene, I'm new too. First time, oh, hi, Darlene. Please make sure you guys join my page so that you can, um, I think I don't know what all those damn buttons are to uh, to say when I come live or do a show that you know you get a little, little notice. But you know these are all recorded, so if you miss me live, then in fact you can just watch the recording. I haven't done this in a while, so I've been busy with life and doing other crazy things and doing readings for people and helping students that I teach uh, develop. I love to, to teach students uh, the basics of becoming a psychic and medium being a sensitive, being able to develop them and be able to do these uh, these things on demand and do an abilities analysis to make sure you understand exactly what your natural abilities are, what your number one ability is, number two ability. Um, and then I also do my uh, interviews with people, other psychic and mediums, other uh, folks in the paranormal field, paranormal investigators. So uh, I've got a, a guy that I met at what we call Hogwarts in uh, in England, it's actually the uh, the Harvard, the best training for all psychic and mediums, and it's north of, uh, of England. I'm gonna be interviewing him at the end of this month. His name is Jason, and he's really quite amazing, quite accomplished, an Englishman who now lives, I think, in Germany. And so I'm gonna interview and find out his journey, uh, and that's what I'd like to find out, is what were people's journeys to where they are today? Uh, and maybe it's something that you guys can always identify 
some of you guys can identify certain aspects of uh, of their lives. Oh, that's kind of like me, and you can understand yourself a little bit better. So let me see if I've got some questions here. So please be on the lookout. Sorry, I haven't been on here for a bit. Oh, since I have to kind of like. All right, any questions? Please type them in the comments now. Hello, Cindy, Darius. Oh, my sister Denise. Hi, Denise. Cindy Police, hello. Darlene, how are you doing? Darlene, I'm doing fine. Had a great investigation. This amazing house. Amazing house. Um, Darius, Darlene Billingsley, would love to get a reading. If you want to uh, have a reading with me, just go to my website, kevinpaulpsychicmedium.com, and there's a variety of... Uh, reading options, 30 minutes or 60 minutes. Do you want a psychic? Do you want a mediumship? Do you want a combo reading? Um, all sorts of options for you. Kathy, I am in Washington, D.C. The house was near where I live, which is in DuPont Circle. And let's see, Mary, Cindy. Oh, darling, you're in Georgia. I'm a, is it Posk? Okay. Sorry, Mary. I probably destroyed that, your last name. Hi there, Mary. Um, let's see here. Darlene's Kathy, are you asking me? Let's see. Um, oh, Nan, it's kind of you to help the spirits. Well, you know, it's uh, if you have some abilities to, to help others, and I always say that in this field, it's a, it's a ministry of healing and helping others, whether they are in this this world, uh, this side of the veil, or the other side of the veil. Let's see, Kathy, I'm wondering what location we're discussing in Washington, D.C. Let's see here. Oh, Robin, you're so sweet. Robin's posting my link, um, which is kind of an all-in-one link. You click on it, you can see all my the Twitter account, my Instagram account, which is where I actually do uh, my beekeeping, so a lot of beekeeping stuff there which is kind of fun, uh, and some other sites that I've got if you're on different social media sites. Let's see here, Heather. Hello, I'm new to your life. <laughs> Welcome, Heather. I'm new to your life as well. Hope to uh, see you again on one of my other lives. Let's see here. Kathy, thanks. Darius, hi. Kate Walker, hi. Let's see here. Let's see here if we've got anything else. Any questions? Sherry's in San Jose. Yes, save the bees. <laughs> they are definitely quite, they're really going crazy right now. Um, because it's spring and they're really going crazy. So you can see, I show some videos of the queen. So go to my, uh, inst if you're Instagram, go to Kevin Paul Psychic Medium on Instagram. You can see what I'm doing out there. Let's see, anybody have the questions? No? All right, folks. I think I'm gonna, I'm kind of hungry. I'm gonna have something to eat. I think I'm gonna get some chicken cordon bleu that, uh, that's in the refrigerator. So um, have a good evening. Thanks for uh, watching. And know that I've got some things coming up this month. It should be interesting and fun. And my objective is really about uh, educating uh, everyone about the field of paranormal, uh, psychics, mediums, uh, and a variety of other folks who are in this field. Just to understand what their journey, how did they get there, and maybe it's something that you can identify with and help you in your spiritual journey. So thank you all. Take care. Bye-bye.